Hi everyone, my name is Anthony Fontana. I'm an IRS enrolled agent with EA Tax Resolutions and today I'm going to let you know how an S-Corp can save you tax. Okay, so just for clarification, an S-Corporation is not always a corporation. This is strictly just an IRS entity. Now, in order to be taxed as an S-Corporation, you have to first be set up as an LLC or a corporation with the state and then elect to be taxed as a subchapter S corporation with the IRS. All right, so the way an S-Corp can save you tax money is that it allows business owners to avoid Social Security and Medicare tax, better known as self-employment tax, on only a portion of your business profits. Whereas if you're a sole proprietor or a partnership, you will have to pay self-employment tax on your full net profit. Now this doesn't avoid you from paying the ordinary income tax, which regardless if you're an S-Corporation or not, you're going to have to pay. Okay, so Social Security and Medicare tax, better known as self-employment tax, totals us to 15.3%. Now for simplicity of the example I'm going to show you, I'm just going to round that off to 15%. Alright, let's jump right into it here. So if you're a sole proprietor or a partnership with a net profit of $100,000, you'd be subject to $15,000 of self-employment tax. Now if you're an S corporation with the same $100,000 of net profit, you now get to split that net profit into two separate categories, wages and distributions. Now wages is the only thing that is subject to self-employment tax when you're an S corporation. So for my example here, my wages of $50,000, as an S corporation, we're only gonna be paying $7,500 of self-employment tax. Now you can already tell, as an S corporation, we're gonna be saving some money. The amount we're saving in my example here is the difference between the $15,000 and the $7,500 as an S Corp, which is $7,500 of S Corporation savings just by electing to be an S Corporation with the same net profit as a business. Now there are a whole host of other factors you have to take into consideration when you elect to be an S Corporation. A few of those are you know, the payroll you have to set up, the LLC or corporation you have to set up with the state and the, and the tax preparation that you're gonna to have to pay at the end of the year as well. Now, I hope this video was helpful here. Please like, share, subscribe to, uh, to my channel and thank you so much for watching.